guys. Today we're gonna be talking about dinosaurs, dinosaurs that lived a million of years ago, a dinosaurs that wandered the earth. They are very clever creatures and boundless beasts. Oh, are you guys excited to learn about them? Hear their voices? All right, so we'll play a little bit, and after that, we'll introduce them to you one by one. All right, are you ready? Let's go! So this is Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus may have been slow, really slow, but made up for speed with 17 spiny plates along its back. Its voice echoed across the grassy plains of the Jurassic period. Brontosaurus at 75 feet long, the Brontosaurus was one of the largest animals to ever walk the earth. Its long neck could reach the leaves of the tallest trees. Allosaurus Stalking in the trees with three razor-sharp claws, the Allosaurus hunted big creatures and had no fear. Its pointed growl warned outer animals, if you hear an Allosaurus, run! Spinosaurus In the early Cretaceous period, the Spinosaurus was the beast to fear. With tall, spiny sails along its back and a creepy hiss, the Spinosaurus preyed upon everything that moved. Triceratops Farther in the Cretaceous period, the Triceratops drifted along the earth. Its distinctive three-horned face and billowing crown gave it protection against other animals. Pachycephalosaurus With a head as hard as a rock, the Pachycephalosaurus had a skull 10 inches thick, lived in a close packs along the water, and hummed to one another with deep voices. <coughs> Parasaurolophus You walk on two legs, dogs walk on four legs. The Parasaurolophus could use both. With a crested head and big mouth, it would run from large predators using only two legs. When it was safe from danger, it would switch back to four. Tyrannosaurus Rex Why is the ground shaking? Wait, that means a T-Rex! With the sharpest sense of sight and smell, one wrong move and you're in trouble. Using its tail for balance, the T-Rex scavenged from other animals, scaring them off their meal with a threatening roar. Monoclonius The Monoclonius had a crown too, but only one massive horn coming from its nose. 
Similar to a bird, it had a beak-like mouth perfect for picking leaves.